Three men are in critical condition in Waterbury after a triple shooting there. This is breaking news. We first brought you last night at 5. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live at the police department tonight. And Dennis, do we have any information yet about a possible suspect? Not yet, Aaron. That, the moments leading up to the shooting, those questions remain unanswered tonight. Now, so far this year in the city of Waterbury, they've seen nearly 250 shootings. A community leader I talked to says action is needed, but everyone's going to have to come together for that to happen. I don't think it's all totally settled in on him. I know he didn't sleep most of the night. Bullet hole serving as a terrifying reminder of what happened at Otto's convenience store and smoke shop. Three men were shot and they're now in the hospital in critical condition. Some regulars we met today said the store was a nice addition to the neighborhood. Sonny Keeler, a close friend of the owner, says his friend always tried to be welcoming. A lot of it's him, okay? Casey does a very good job, okay, of trying to be, you know, he's he's good with people, all people, all right? He doesn't, there's no particularity when you walk in the store. He's, he's good to everybody. This is the latest of a rash of shootings the city's dealt with this year. As of November 26, police say there have been 247 confirmed shots fired incidents. 86 people have been shot, and of those, 11 have died. Daryl Copeland is with Ice the Beef's Waterbury chapter, an anti-gun violence nonprofit. Copeland says there needs to be action to solve this problem, but it'll require every single person in the community to achieve. But it's going to take our community, community leaders, our clergy leaders, um, any other organizations that are definitely trying to empower people in our communities to unite as one. But as Copeland and other community leaders try to unite, some may not be sticking around to see things get better. You know, like I said to him last night, this is a wake-up call. You know? So either we fix this problem or we take, remove you and get you out of all this problem. As police release more info on this investigation, we'll be sure to update you live on air and, of course, on the Channel 3 app. Also, if you know anything about what happened, please give police a call. Live here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.